Debo, obviously last week you guys had a bunch of guys that were out and had some different guys in different roles and things like that. I guess just what's it been like kind of working through that and maybe, you know, getting used to playing alongside different guys. And I guess what's sort of, I guess, how's that kind of coming along at least now through at least one game and then into this week as well? Yeah, just uh, next man up mentality and uh, everybody has to step up. We SEC players for a reason, you know, so when it's your time, it's your time to shine. And uh, every one of us are brothers, you know, so I don't think it's really a chemistry thing. You just uh, get in the flow, having the confidence, um, especially if you haven't had as many reps you know, so coming in, just uh, playing with confidence, you know, because uh, if we make a mistake, we won't rally together. You know, as long as you play 100% and you wish your brothers, you can never be wrong. Debo, Zach was in here talking about maybe some miscommunication and some run fits and whatnot on, against Georgia. How, from a communication standpoint, with so many new guys getting reps, how do you kind of build that in practice or in games? And is that tough to do in the middle of a season? You know, while in while in game, you know, mistakes are going to happen. And it's never going to be a perfect game. So you just have to be a, a leader, you know, and especially we have some freshmen playing too, you know, so it's going to be mistakes. You just have to tell them next play, keep going, and make sure their confidence is good. That's all it is. It's mental, 95% mental, 5% physical, like, you know, so it's just uh, just keep their head in the game. And that's what you, that's all you can do. And then in practice, you know, correct it. But while in game, you got to uh, keep their confidence up and next play. Hey, Debo, um, what have you seen? I mean, you talked about the freshmen stepping up. What have you seen from Nicky Minwari so far? Um, just him being a dog, man, being a great player. You know, he obviously um, is learning a lot as he goes, but he, he can play, and I'm glad to have him with us. Hey, Debo, I was looking online last night, and I saw that now the jerseys are available, and your jersey is one of the ones that fans can buy. Yes, sir. Um, how do you manage stuff like that during the season versus handling things like that during the off season? Um, during the season, I try to just stay focused. You know, I'll put a post on social media, and uh, I kind of let my mom, my father, I let them handle it. You know, you put it on your social media because it's really – I let my family. Fans are going to see it off the site, and if they want to support, they'll get my jersey. But um, – I put a post out here and there, but during the off season, I'm able to have more time. Like I had a podcast in the off season. I stopped the podcast for a little bit because I just wanted to focus on football. I didn't want there to be any reason why I couldn't match my full potential or what I feel like I can do, you know, so. I was going to ask about that. Yeah, I hadn't seen an episode in like four months. I think I you got like six or seven in. Just yeah. what, what kind of made you want to start that, and how has it kind of helped you get to know a lot of the guys on the team? I just – I feel like football players don't really – not even football players. I just – I started with football because that's what I'm in, and I'm going to branch out. I'm starting back up in uh, January. Uh, granted, we're going to have a great season. And uh, so whenever our season is finished, I'll start back up. But um, the whole thing was to be able to give spotlight to um, athletes because I think – Athletes are great individuals that people don't get to see. They just think we just play and don't have a voice at all. So I uh, I like people to talk about where they come from, how they, how they got here, their story. You know, I want to give a chance to talk about my story too. So that's how that came about. And I just felt like it's a lot of podcasts, but it's older individuals. You know, I wanted to bring a, a college aspect. Georgia and Arkansas were both kind of hitting the perimeter pretty hard in both those games. What do you? What can you as linebackers do to kind of correct that and kind of get more side to side? Um, play fast and physical. Um, just continue to uh, get more reps at it and um, just continue to play harder, 135% to help the DBs out. You know, uh, as a linebacker, you have to play to run first, you know, so that people will hit RPOs. But as our job, we have to play to run first and then we can come out. But it'll get better and we'll continue to improve. Debo, Zach was kind of talking about the Charlotte offense a little bit, and it's been able to put up some points over the course of the season. What have you seen from them, and, and how tough are their skill guys to be able to, to go against? Um, nobody is a slouch. Everybody that we play are going to be good, you know, so much respect to them, and uh, it's going to be a great game Saturday. Debo? Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you.